behalf of the Orange County Model Engineers, I'd like to welcome you all to the rededication of the Hank Hornsfeld Memorial Trestle. Please welcome the Honorable John Stevens, Mayor of the City of Costa Mesa. Thank you, thank, thank you, Terry. <laughs> Don't edit that out. Um, so, so thank you, Hank. There's a lot of great Hanks that we're here, here to celebrate today. So thank you for all, be everybody for being here uh, to dedicate the Hank Hornsfeld uh, Trestle Bridge here at this beautiful place, Goat Hill Junction. A couple of things come to mind, and I've got some stuff that I want to make sure I cover here, but is so I'm not sure if any of you have noticed this, uh, but we're in an election season. Has anybody noticed that? Mm -hmm. And in an election season, you know, uh, it's kind of the nature of the beast uh, it tends to divide people. So to be here two weeks, exactly two weeks before election day, just for historical reference, because somebody might see this someday in the year 2022, and to be celebrating building a bridge, I think is very meaningful and, and very, very kind, of, kind of a metaphor for maybe what we can consider doing uh, in our own lives is to build bridges and to celebrate the construction of bridges, you know, both tangible and intangible in our lives. Um, the other thing is um, I want you to think back Close your eyes and think back to your first memory. You know, we don't have a lot of children here, but we have a lot of, lot of grown-ups. Some people that are kind of older. What was your first memory that you have as you sit here today? 3,000 uh, children a month travel on these tracks. And the kind of the, the target market of this attraction in the great city of Costa Mesa is children the age of, say, two, three, four, five. You know, then they kind of start playing soccer and maybe they, they go on to other stuff. But it's those, it's those ages where people establish their very first memories. If you were to ask those kids to travel on these tracks decades from now, what was your first memory? Many of them would say, right here. I know my kids would. They're 30, 28, 25, 21. And some of their first memories that they will have and they will always uh, access is right here on this track. <laughs> so this trestle, just so, some facts. Uh, this trestle has been here for 30 years and was rotting and needed some major repairs to get it back in shape. The volunteers of the Model Engineers Club, as well as Love Costa Mesa. So we got Raina here. Raina. Raina Cothill and Chris worked. In, she was actually telling me how much Chris worked on this, uh, to, sometimes to her chagrin. Yeah. So that's okay. It's a family business. Um, so the model engineers, uh, I, I, well, I kind of covered some of this stuff. It's a treasured memories, created so many memories, first memories. They have been, they've been doing this, uh, the model engineer, since 1989, which coincidentally is the year that I moved into the great city of Costa Mesa. We have, um, and Hank Hornsfeld, I have a, a certificate for his family here today to receive that certificate are Michelle, Kevin, and Noel, his grandchildren. And Hank did about everything that you could do out here. Uh, he built the, the old trestle. He built the station, or helped build the station. He didn't do it single-handedly. And also, I'm told he did um, some kind of bootleg grading out here when it, w it wasn't exactly allowed, but that's okay. Um, the statute of limitations is long run on that, and we're, we're, very, we're very pleased at all the great work that he's done. And, and I'm very glad that he's being appropriately honored by the Orange County uh, model engineers and by the city of Costa Mesa. Would Michelle, Kevin, and Noel come up and receive the certificate, and we'll take a photo. Okay, then it's my great pleasure to uh, introduce up to the microphone 
my very good friend, uh, former mayor of the great city of Costa Mesa, current supervisor of the county of Orange, uh, and a Costa Mesa resident, Katrina Foley. All right. Well, this is fun because, you know, like many of your families, like John's family, like Michelle's family, uh, Michelle and I were PTA moms together. <laughs> so our families know each other. Uh, but we, um, our kids came here, rode on the trains. Now they're in college or graduated. Uh, and even my sons and I uh, planted trees out here. But what I love about the Orange County Model Engineers and and what I love about us as a community protecting this train station is that this brings, you talk about bridges, this unites the young and the older. And it is a great opportunity for us to give recreational opportunities to all ages of our community. So thank you all. I know you work so hard out here volunteering your time to make sure that uh, we have this, what I think is a jewel. And people come here from all over Orange County to visit this and bring their kids. I have friends who are lawyers in other cities. They're like, oh, I went to your train. <laughs> so yes, it's fun. Okay, so Hank, what John didn't mention also is that um, Hank was uh, the, a family business, still in business, right? Yep. Still in business right here on Placentia, uh, Hank's Electric. How many years in business? Um, 48. 48-year family-owned business right here in Costa Mesa. And obviously we know our family-owned businesses here in Costa Mesa, they contribute to our community. So on behalf of the County of Orange, one of my favorite things to do as a county supervisor is to be able to document the history of our families and of our uh, community members who contribute greatly to our community. So on behalf of the County of Orange, um, I present this certificate of recognition to the Hornsfeld family and to Hank Hornsfeld Memorial Trestle. Uh, for over 30 years, the Hank Hornsfield Trestle has served the families of Orange County. Since the Golden Spike Ceremony on March 19, 1991, the 90-foot trestle has been an important part of Costa Mesa history. On March 19, 2013, exactly 22 years later, the city of Costa Mesa honored Hank Hornsfield with the Mayor's Award to honor his contributions to the community. So now as we rededicate the Hank Hornsfield Memorial Trestle, I'm just so glad that I know you and that your family is part of our Costa Mesa history. So thank you so much. And here's the Hank. Oh, you, I'm going to get emotional, sorry. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for continuing, continuing to honor our grandfather. He was uh, very important to us, obviously. It's so nice to see that he was very important to, to yeah, the whole here. community. Yeah. Thank so, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for everything you guys do and in honoring us, our yeah. whole family, once again. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Gary Gorman. Uh, Gary is in from uh, from Phoenix. Uh, he was the supervisor of this project. Um, he actually made it go. Gary. By the way, we do have we have some members here that worked alongside Hank Hornsfeld, uh, the Cascarellis. Uh, and we have a couple of our uh, founding members are still here with us and are in attendance. I'm going to turn it over to Gary and let him introduce them. Tell them what it, what it, what it took to build this. Well, thank you all for coming, and uh, it's excellent to see the Hornsville family here. Um, this project was, uh, well, I was president for the club in 2019, um, and even years prior to that there's always been some discussion about the state of the bridge and it uh, it was uh, not looking good uh, and then in our early 20 uh, one of our members uh, Andy Romer who happens to be a licensed civil engineer in California uh, inspected the bridge did a, a really a thorough exam of it and said uh, 
the, uh, the condition is a lot more than cosmetic, I think was the term he used. <laughs> uh, trying to hedge it in his bet, but it was, uh, it was in very sad shape. And uh, so early 20, I moved uh, out of California. One of the, one of the casualties of, <laughs> of the situation, but anyway, uh, and I kind of felt a uh, kind of a a drive or a need to try to make this thing happen. And uh, so with uh, with Andy on board, uh, we were able to uh, put together a, a crew, and uh, we did some fundraising, uh, a couple of shout outs to uh, the Costa Mesa Foundation that helped us, uh, Ganal Lumber, uh, I don't know if... Uh, Raise your hand, Eric <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shout out. Uh, uh, Newport Exterminator helped us. I'm probably going to miss uh, some of them. We had thousands of small uh, contributions uh, from across the country. Dollars came in. Project was advertised in a in a on-site uh, website called Discover Live Steam. Uh, they ran an ad for us for months. We uh, were able to generate a, a lot of money. Unfortunately, uh, the, we had the labor. We just uh, couldn't get everything donated, so we had to buy a lot of the materials that's in this bridge. And uh, so, a couple shout outs again. Uh, Andy Romer was huge in this. Uh, Chris Cuthill was primary here, builder. Gary. There you are. I knew you were here somewhere. Uh, Chris was out here. Uh, what we did is uh, came out once a month uh, because that's all I could afford fuel back and forth for, for a year. So we did it once a month, actually, it was to coordinate with the other activities out here. Uh, Chris was out here, uh, Adam, Adam Dupree, uh, Terry Koken, he's right here on the horn. Uh, and uh, Gary Reynolds, uh, we just had one heck of a crew, usually about 10 guys. We'd work Saturday, Sunday, and uh, eventually we got it done. And uh, I got to believe Hank is uh, a, a very happy man wherever he is in that railroad in the sky. So thank you all for being here. And if I missed anybody, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to introduce our club president, Dennis Neal. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming down here. Um, a quick shout out to some of our founding members, uh, Ben Viola. Thanks for coming out. Uh, the Cascarellis, thank you very much for making the long trip here. And Kenny, Kenny. where's Kenny? <laughs> Kenny Matassa, who's, who's always here. <laughs> uh, let's see, the bridge was originally built with the leadership and assistance of Hank Hornsfeld. The bridge was dedicated in 1991. Many, many thousands of children and adults have, have ridden the, the rails here and enjoyed the centerpiece of our railroad. Uh, with the Herculean efforts of many of our club members, uh, the trestle's been rebuilt using the original specifications and is now ready to serve many passengers and rail enthusiasts for decades to come. In honor of the original builder, Hank Hornsfeld, on this day, we rededicate the Hank Hornsfeld trestle. One, two, three.